Hey everybody, it's Jeff from Riptism and XFA Fitness back again today. I've read your comments on the last few videos. Thanks so much. Really appreciate all the feedback. A lot of people are looking for a longer workout today, all right? They want to see a 40, 45 minute workout. Um, I normally work out for around 30, 35 minutes for myself, but hey, I'm willing to push it for you guys and to go a little bit longer today, all right? So what I've done is I've set up a 45 minute workout that's going to include a, a quick warm up and cool down. So right around 42 minutes of actual working out and we're going to sandwich that in between about a two minute warm up and cool down on each side. Um, the idea today is that it's an EMOM workout, meaning every minute on the minute, we're going to do a different exercise. So I've set up 10 different moves today. They include weighted moves and body weight moves. On the weighted moves, I'm going to be using heavier weights. We're only going to be doing 10 reps per move, except for the last move of the round, we're going to do 20 reps, and I'll show you that coming up. So every single move, we're going to be doing 10 reps, except the last one of that 10 move sequence. And uh, so I want you to go heavy. We're going to be doing things like curling, and we're going to be doing like swinging and pressing and things. So after the 10 reps, I want you to be tired. I don't want you to be able to do another rep or, you know, getting close to the end. The first round is going to feel a lot easier than the fourth round. Trust me. Um, so this workout is going to build, and you're going to see as it goes on, you're going to get more tired, and those, that time you have until the next minute starts is going to keep getting shorter and shorter. All right, so what we're going to do today is a quick warm-up. Then we'll get right into the workout. Quick cool down. You guys will be on your way. Again, if you like our channel and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and you will be notified every single time we have a new workout going. And if you really like our stuff, go to Riptism.com, and you will find all of our workout programs there. We've got Riptism 1, Riptism 2, Riptism Raw, plus a bunch of bonus material that will take you through a journey of 60 days of working out. You can repeat those or go on and do more and more and more. We're always adding new stuff on there. So uh, sign on to Riptism.com, support us there, and you'll see more and more great stuff. All right, so let me hit my timer. I'm going to get going here. we got a quick two-minute warm-up. Going to make it dynamic. Let's go. Ready? Just jog in place. Just jog in place. Awesome. Knees high. Heart rate's going to get up a little bit. Moving into jumping jacks. All right, just stick to the basics for warming up. No reason to go crazy here. Nice. All right. Let's do some cross knee to elbow, cross knee to elbow. We're just waking up the core because we're going to be using that a lot today. Like I said, we have weighted moves and we got body weight moves. I've got a set of adjustable dumbbells here. You could have a couple of sets at home. I think the weight today I'm going to be using range between 20 to 30 pounds, okay? So you pick that accordingly at home. I might go a little heavier, maybe 35, 40 on some of these. We'll see how I feel. All right, let's get down, do a little upward dog. Stretching out everything here, shoulders, core. Pop it up, downward dog. Let's get the hamstrings, pedal out the calves. We really want to wake up the body today because we're going to be hitting it from every angle. Hitting the shoulders, biceps, triceps, core, legs, cardiovascular endurance, everything here today. All right, quick step up, right leg. Go to the top, down, left leg up, reach up. Come back down, quick sumo press out like that, okay? So again, we've got 10 different moves. Get some water, because you're gonna need it in between while we're taking our breaks. 30 seconds to go here. Our first move is gonna be a squat push press. So I'm gonna take uh, 30 pounds in this first one. We'll see how that feels. Now I'll demo the moves before we start each time. So the squat push press, up like this. Squatting, press it up on the top, okay? So the idea with the squat, squat push press, when you're pressing up on top, use that momentum to force those weights to go up, okay? That's gonna help you out here. Let's go in five seconds. 10 reps like this. Good luck. Three, two, one, here we go. Squat, push it up, down. Squat, push it up, that's it. There's three. There's four. There's five, halfway through. All the way down to the squat, arms fully extended all the way up, that's 10 reps. That took us around 30 seconds, okay? So we'll drop those down. Now the rest, until the next minute starts, is around 30 seconds. Next move we're gonna do after this. Second move in the sequence, alternating lunge supination curl. So I'll stick with the 30s. And what we're gonna be doing is stepping back and curling up into supination, okay? Stepping back. 
curling up into supination. I've already done two. So pick the heavy weight that you need because we're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Just like that. So nice, deep lunge, 90 degree angle if you can. All right. Nice. Arms should be starting to burn now. It's halfway through. Six. Come on. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Nice. Again, that took us about 30 seconds. You'll see as time goes on, we might have around 20 seconds left because we're going to be getting more and more tired. Next move we're doing side plank burpee. So we're going to be going down, touching the ground, shooting out to one side, coming on up, coming down, shooting out to the other side, coming on up. 10 reps like that, okay? Five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Little jump, coming down other side. So you're getting just enough rest in between moves so you can put everything you have until the next exercise, okay? Halfway through. There's six. Seven. There's eight. There's nine. There's ten. Again, we got about halfway through the minute. Hands and knees, I'm resting. So these, none of these are easy moves, okay? None of these are like walk in the park kind of moves. These are tough moves. You're gonna accelerate your heart rate. With a little bit of rest, come right back up again. An incredible way to burn calories, burn fat, and build muscle. Next thing we have, weighted sumo jump. So I'm gonna take a 40 pound weight here. I'm feeling pretty good today. Hold it right here and Jump, one, two, jump as high as you can, three, four, nice and low all the way down, five, six, seven, that's it, one, there we go, all the way down, so that one took a little bit less time, a little extra rest for you, which is always nice, 40 pounds was right for me on that one, so pick the weight that works for you. Next thing we're doing, we're going down in a plank. We're gonna do a push-up, and then we're gonna alternate side arm balance each side, okay? So you go to the right arm first, or the left arm, whatever arm you have is fine. Okay, 10 more seconds. I'll stay down here since I'm gonna be in plank. And we're going in three, two, one, here we go. So push up nice and deep, side arm balance. In control, all right? You don't wanna be speeding through this. You wanna feel every single muscle engagement. Squeeze those obliques as you get to the top. Squeeze the quads on the legs. That's gonna help you from dipping down in that side plank. Here's seven. Here's eight. Two more. There's 10, okay, great. That one took a little longer, 25 seconds. And then we're going into the weighted step back lunge jump. So get about maybe a 20, I'm gonna use about 20 pounder on this. Right hand holds the weight, right leg steps back, and we're gonna jump as high as we can, okay? Then we'll switch after five and to the left side, ready? Three, two, one. So you're holding it in like a hammer position, the weight. There's two, jump as high as you can. Nice and low on the way back. If you wanna to touch your knee, great. There's four, one more. Leg's starting to burn now, let's switch hands. Left leg, left arm, hammer position, grip. Here we go. One, two, three, I'm touching the knee. Four, five, getting as low as I can. All right, nice work. So we split that one left and right. Next thing we're doing is weighted standing core twist. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna stick with 30 pounds. I'm feeling strong here. And this is gonna be like this. Okay, start here, up and over. 
to two. Just like that, okay? Only doing 10 reps, so heavy up the weight. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Up and over. Up and over. Use your body weight and the momentum to swing those over. That's four. That's five. Six. Ooh. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Wow. Just ten reps like that. You can hear I'm breathing heavy. So if you use heavy weight, you don't have to go that long. You can achieve the intensity of cardiovascular and VO2 level max by using heavy weight. You don't have to do something for 45 seconds or a minute or 20 minutes on a treadmill. You can just do it right there with six or seven or 10 reps, okay? Next thing we're doing, tuck jump. But I want you to touch the floor. 10 reps. Make sure there's nothing above your head. Okay, three, two, floor touch. One, with power. One, two, like that. We're not speeding through it. Getting the most out of each move. Ready? Five. There's six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, so the amount of rest we're taking might be equal to or longer than the amount of work we're putting in, but we need that recovery time because we're doing such hard moves here and we're using such heavy weight, you want that heart rate to drop back down so you can really focus and put all your energy and use proper form for every single move. All right, next move we're doing. I'm gonna keep it heavy. I'm gonna use 30s. Dumbbell swing press. So basically you're gonna use your momentum to swing your arms up straight like this, okay? Start in a squat position, just like this. Weights back, three, two, one, up and down. Up and down. So you're not really pressing, it's more of a swing, right? Use your core, use your hips, use your glutes. All right? Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's kind of a kettlebell move that we use with dumbbells. But we're using the equipment that we have here and making it work for us, okay? So this last move that we're doing now, groiners, down like this, and we're gonna be jumping back and forth. We're gonna go fast on these, fast as we can. And this is the last move in the 10 move sequence. So we're gonna do the 20 reps in this one. Like I said, everything, everything else is 10 reps. This is 20 to finish off the round. Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, just like that. And there's 20. Try to bring that heel all the way up to the hand. All right, so that's our 20 reps on that. We got about 30 seconds left. In between each round, we got a 30 second break, regardless of our every minute on the minute time. So what we've done here is 10 moves, and every time the minute starts, we started a new move, regardless of whether we're finished with the old one or not, okay? The idea is to obviously be finished beforehand and have a little bit of rest time so you can get ready for the next move. This keeps us accountable. It gets a lot of work in in a short amount of time. We're not sitting around checking our phone, checking our watch going, hey, you know, what is that with Billy doing? What's he doing that we're, we're focused and we're in, in the moment, working out, getting the most out of it, okay? So here's our 30 second break. I'm gonna grab a little bit of water here. Good thing to stay hydrated when you're working out this hard, right? All right, so next thing we're gonna do is do that whole thing over again. We got three more rounds like that. So it's gonna start up, I'm grab my 30s again, ready? Three, two, one, squat, squat, push press, squat, push it up, that's it. Boom, three, that's it, use that momentum. Nice and low on the squat, that's it. 
little harder the second time through. There's 10. All right, we got our rest. All right, next thing we're going into, alternating step back lunge curl, supination. I'm gonna stick with those 30s. How you feeling at home? You're starting to feel it now. That second round is creeping up on us. All right, so get your weights ready. Put these down, take my rest, 10 more seconds. Here we go, we hit the shoulders and the legs. Go right back on the legs, hit the biceps. Three, two, one. Curling the supination. That's it, nice and low on that step back. That's it. Seven, come on. Eight, two more. Last one. If you're still going, no problem, keep going. We got plenty of time here. 30 more seconds in this round. Going back to the side plank burpee, all right? You know the moves now, so I'm not gonna demo them for you. I'm gonna save my energy, and we're gonna keep going here. Whew. Stay loose, stay limber. We got another 12 seconds before we're going in. So we're mixing the body weight moves with the weighted moves and we're getting everything done here for you. Ready? Three, two, one. Down, side burpee out, up, two. That's it, nice jump on the end there. All the way up. There's eight. Working now. One more. All right. Oh, about 30 seconds left. I'm going hands to knees. I'm taking a knee on this one, all right? Next thing we're doing is that weighted sumo jump. I'm gonna pick up the 40 pounder again. Legs are feeling a little more tired now than they were before. You know, we're getting close to halfway through the workout here. 10 seconds. Let's change that weight over. I'm going heavy, got it here. You pick what you need, three, two, one, up. Up, all the way nice and low, that's it. Legs are really burning now, one more rep. Okay, weight goes down safely. And we take our break. All right. Nice. Next move we got. Push up side arm balance. Okay. We're gonna go down on the mat again. Nice controlled push up. And then coming up, strong core, strong quads, glutes, squeeze it all together on that side. That's low. And you're gonna keep that nice, even plane. You won't dip down that way. Let's get in the plank, five seconds. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Nice push up, control up. There's two. Three, gotta get that chest to the floor if you can. We're very close to it. quiet now because the more I work the more I need to focus okay 20 more seconds in our break see that time's getting shorter now last time we had about 25 30 seconds now we're getting down at a 20 second mark weighted step back lunge jump I'm going back to the 20 I'm gonna use 25 this time up it a little bit right hand hammer position right leg let's go back in three two one nice and low knee touch Jump. You don't have to touch the knee, but if you can, great. Good range of motion always helps. Nice power in that jump when you come up. All right, don't just kind of come off the ground a little bit. Nice high jump. Switching hands, here we go.
right, that's it. Next thing we're doing, we got those weighted standing core twists. That last time I used 30s, that might've been a little ambitious for me. So I'm gonna test 25s this time. See how that feels. If that feels too light, next round I'll go back to the 30s. But again, I want you to go heavy. We want you to feel it here. All right, but you want your form to be good too. Let's get in position, five seconds. Start on the left side, ready? Three, two, one, up and over for one. And two, and three, that's a nice rainbow with those weights. There we go. That's six. You'll feel this in the legs and the core and the shoulders, that's 10 reps. All right, that went a little faster. A little bit easier, just dropping five pounds per hand. So maybe next time I'll go back up to the 30s again, okay? But we have a hard move coming up. We got the tuck jumps. Nothing easy about this. Again, floor touch. So fingertips on the floor, jump up, knees nice and high, powerful. Use the lower core to bring your knees up, okay? Don't jump here. I want the knees up high, high as you can get them. Hit those hands, slap them. Okay, way to go. Five seconds left, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. One. Nice and high, that's it. That's it, 10 seconds. Nice big 40 second rest here. Before we go back to that swing press, I'm taking knee again. I'm gonna recover, catch my breath on this one. All right, another 25 to go. So again, the swing press, I'm gonna stick with those 30s. It's swinging up, straight arm on top. We're not really pressing, we're just swinging up using our core and our glutes to get that motion going here. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Swing it up and all the way up. Up. Last move of this round, coming up halfway to the workout here. 20 reps of those groiners. Going back down on the mat again, 20 seconds until we're, until we're in that move, okay? So if you guys like these workouts, you like them longer, you like them shorter, let me know in the comment section, okay? We'll try to do what we can for you. Provide the content that you wanna see. All right, five more seconds to go, here we go. Get on that mat, three, two, one, here we go, one, two, three. Nice and high with the hands. That's it, halfway through. There's 20, okay. Now we got a nice long break. I'm gonna grab my water again. We're halfway through this workout. So the, this workout, every single move, you got plenty of rest in between and I want you giving it your all on every single rep while you're exercising. That's what the every minute on the minute workout is designed for, designed to give you the recovery time so you can put the full effort in without overdoing it, okay? And you're keeping your form right. If you find that for some reason you can't complete the required number of reps in that amount of time, then, you know, work on your fitness, hit pause, and try to build up to that, okay? We got our 30 second full break here, and we're going right back into that squat push press. Take a sip of my water. I'm gonna go back to those 30s. Here we go. Here we go. Ready, nice wide stance. Arms up, four, three, 
two, one. Low squat, momentum up. Low squat, momentum up. That's it. Halfway. Arms straight on top. You can hear I'm grunting. She made his weights, I'm using her the right, right amount. I don't think I could have done another one there with good form, all right? So we got 30 seconds uh, rest for our next one. These are full body compound moves, right? We're not just doing curls here, first shoulder press. We're using our full body on every single move. That's why the blood's rushing around everywhere to try to help out. That's why we're getting so tired. So I think we just keep that heart rate high. I'm at 150 right now. Perfect, all right? For somebody my age. Alternating supination curl. Let's get those 30s. Pick what you need at home. Three, two, one. Really squeeze those biceps and that supination, okay? That's I want that to burn every single time. It doesn't burn, pick up a heavier weight. So you're working your core while you're stabilizing this unbalanced position the entire time while you're working your legs and your biceps here. That's 10 reps, all right? So you're hitting full body. Even though we're just doing some step back lunge curls, you're bringing that core into the equation and hitting that every single rep as well. All right, here we go. I'm looking forward to these. Side plank burpee. You know the move. Eight seconds left. Let's go get it. Out to one side, out to the other. Jump in the middle. Three, two, one. Here we go. One. Again, chest, shoulders, core, legs. Everything's being worked in this one move here. And we're getting our cardiovascular rate nice and high. Two more. All right, notice we're not doing super fast movements here. We're in control every single time. All right? All right. Here we go. Here we go. 10 seconds left. We got weighted sumo jump. I'm going back to those 40 pounders here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. That's it. Ah. That only took 20 seconds to do 10 reps. But man, are my legs burning. I'm almost feeling a little lightheaded right here. So I wanna take a nice break, recover, as we're going into those push-up sidearm balance next. All right. All right. Reaching the end of round three here. We're getting close. We still got more to do. So keep the focus there, keep the energy up. Let's keep going here. 10 more seconds. Let's get down in a plank. We'll get ready for these moves. As you can see, I'm sweating all over the place here. That's what we're doing here. Getting fit. Three, two, one. Here we go. Push up. Balance it out. Push up. Balance it out. That's it. Again, only 10 reps to make each one count. There's seven. I try to match my pace if you can. Don't go too much faster. So I want you to get the most out of the move. There's 10 reps, okay? You shouldn't be done quicker than 30 seconds. Just keep an eye on that clock. If you're done too fast, that means I want you to go a little slower. Focus more energy on the muscle, up on the way up and the way down, okay? Do a couple extra reps if you have to. For next time, the next round, remember that. Follow my pace. 10 more seconds, weighted. Step back, lunge, jump. Gonna go with the 25s again. 
get that right arm, right leg. Here we go. Back, one, two, nice and high in the jump. High as you can. That's it. Again, you don't have to touch any. I'm doing it just because I want to. You don't have to though. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Breathing heavy now. Check the heart rate here. How we doing? 152, we're staying right around that same level. Just dropping down in those breaks, coming right back up again. We're gonna do that weighted standing core twist. I'm gonna try those 30s again. Feeling strong. Pick up what you need. It's gonna be tough, but that's what we're here for. Working out hard. Three, two, one. There's one. There's two. Three, four, five, six. This is heavy for me at this point. So I'm not gonna quit. There's 10 reps. And I don't want you to quit either, okay? If for some reason you can't finish the 10, put it down and get a lighter weight. And then give me the rest of the reps. Or just drop it and do it with no weight at all if you got nothing left. Give me those 10. Try to get that heart rate recovered because we got those tuck jumps coming up. 15 more seconds. Remember to touch the floor. And remember, I know I keep beating into your head in this workout, but high knees, I wanna hear it on the way up, okay? Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, there's nine. Last one. Those always take a lot out of you. Okay. You're going all the way down and all the way up. You're asking a lot of your body at this point in the workout. Dumbbell swing press. I'm feeling good. Just take a knee and go. I'm gonna see if I can do 35s. We've been doing 30s. I wanna see if I can get a little bit heavier on this one. Push myself. If I feel like I can't do it, I'm gonna come back and drop the weight, okay? But using that momentum will let you get a little bit more weight than you can normally sometimes, okay? Three, two, one. All right, so this feels pretty good. Three, four. Core engagement, glutes, hamstrings, There's nine. One more. All right, so I definitely felt that more. I mean, we are later in the workout, of course, but I felt it more in my shoulders as an isolation movement. Okay, just because there's more weight. Add more weight, it's gonna work faster. It's gonna bring you that higher level of fitness, okay? 10 more seconds. We're coming up to the end of round three here. We got our groiners. 20 reps, all right, make them count. Three seconds, two, one, here you go. Heel to the hand, there you go. That's 10. That's it. awesome work, all right, so, we're in it. 30 more seconds in this round. Finish up if you're still working, because we got a 30 second break for our final round of round four coming up here, all right? Keep going, keep going, I'm taking a knee. Here after that, a deserved rest. All right, it's freezing cold here today in New York. It's like 20 degrees, so I really appreciate the sweat and warmth that I'm generating from this workout wherever you might be, raise that 
level of energy, raise that level of effort, and you're gonna see the sweat too, and you're gonna see the results. And again, Griptism.com's got everything you need there, full programs, diet, everything you want. This is a bit of a teaser what you might get there, okay? Go on there and you'll see the real deal. We got 12 seconds left in our rest. Going back to that squat push press. Going back to those 30s. All right, get yourself set up. I'm adjusting my weights. Three, two, one, here we go. Squat, push press, nice and low. All the way extended. Three, four, there's five. Okay. Bang. Nine moves to go, right? Squat, sorry, lunge, supination curl next. I'm gonna stick with those 30s. Those have felt good the entire time. So, adjust your weights to what you need now. Get them set. If you're still working, we got 20 seconds left before the next round starts. Good form, good effort. That's all we ask. Let me get my weights set. 10 seconds go here. Here we go. All right, five, four, three, two, and we're curling, and we're going back. Nice and slow. Not speeding through it. That's it. There's eight. Starting to burn now. Gonna reset 10th rep. There's nine. One more. 10, okay. So I'm feeling pretty good because I'm keeping that consistency of around 28 to 30 seconds left in between me finishing and the next round starting. Taking my knee because I need it. 15 seconds, side plank burpee. I'm gonna stay down here. No, we'll go back up because we gotta go now for the burpee. I don't wanna cheat half a rep on that. So finish it up, finish it up at home. Five more seconds. Let's go, three, two, one. Here we go. Down, out, up, jump. Down, that's it. That's two reps. Three. There's four. Come on, halfway there. Come on, put it in your mind. You can finish it. You can do it. Oh, that's a tough move. Tough move. Whew. I'm gonna take two seconds here to catch my breath. Do the same. We got that weighted sumo jump next. I'm going to 40 pounds. Adjusting the weight. Gotta start on a timer says zero. So in 10 seconds, I'm going. Get my weight out here. Three, two, one, all the way down. Jump, power, that's it. Power, power, come on. Four, five, six, seven, burning. There's not one part of my legs, 10. That's not burning right now, including the calves. Whew, that move does it for sure. Okay. 33 seconds in our break. Okay, we got through that move fast. That's all right. We need the break, you can see. Again, 160 I'm up to now. 20 seconds of break. Left, push up side arm balance. A little more control on this one than we had in the previous move, but we're giving it our all here, come on. 10 seconds, let's go. Catching my breath, ready? Three, two, one. Follow my pace. Not too fast. You want to feel that squeeze in the side. Okay. If you go up and down too fast, you're not gonna engage that core enough. Then you're gonna be missing out in the work. All right. There's six. Seven. Eight, 
Come on. You have to go to your knees. That's okay. No shame in that. If not, I want you up on those toes. Whew. 20 seconds left. Rest is getting a little bit shorter in between. Weighted, step back, lunge, jump. I'm gonna go with the 25s again. 25s, right arm, hammer position, right leg steps back, and we're jumping with the left. Three, two, one, here we go, five on this side. One, two, three, four, nice, powerful jump five, okay? Next one, switch hands, switch feet. Hammer position, go. So static hold for that bicep while we're crushing the legs. Core is engaged because of balance, no problem. Ah, did I miss one? Anyway, I think that was five. I might have done six. All right. Sometimes I lose track, but as long as you're doing more, not less, that's okay. 20 more seconds left. Weighted standing core toes. I'm gonna go back to those 25s. Those 30s were real tough last time. I made a finish out. I wanna keep good form. I don't wanna lose that. So I'm gonna drop the weights five pounds, okay? No shame. Three, two, one, here we go. Starting and one, two, three, four. That's it. Funny, the 25s are hard, but not quite hard enough. The 30s are really hard. Almost a little bit too hard at this point in the workout. So maybe I need some 27 and a half, right? But I think we can get it done with what we have. All right, I'm going back to my knee again. Okay, because we got the tuck jump coming up. This is one of the hardest moves in the sequence. As long as you give it your all, as long as you do it properly, move works your whole body. All right, 10 seconds. Again, we're gonna touch the floor every time. If you don't have the flexibility to touch the floor, just get as low as you can. All right, we're coming towards the end here. Three, two, one, power, here we go. That's it, that's it. Come on, halfway. Ah. That's it. 10 seconds. All right, I mean 40 seconds. Here we go. Ah. Oh, glad it's not only 10 seconds. We've got another 30 seconds and then our rest comes up. Dumbbell, swing press again. So, up in here. All right. I'm gonna go with the uh, 35s again, 35s. So on this one, you want to keep your legs a little closer together. That way you can swing your waist to your side safely, okay? So with a kettlebell, you go in, in between your legs, but here we're going out to the side. In three, two, one, up. One, two, that's it. All right, speaking of kettlebells, I do have some kettlebells in my other gym, but I don't have any here right now, but I have some on order. They should be here very soon. So we're gonna be getting into some kettlebell work as well, coming up. So if you don't have kettlebells and you wanna do some stuff, grab some sets. Only need about two, maybe three sets total. We're getting a couple of adjustable sets like the dumbbells. Okay, this is it, last move right now. Give it everything you got. 20 reps of groiners. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Halfway. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 20 reps. You crushed it, okay? Let's come up, cool down finish out this workout. I'm smoked. Heart rate's up 153. 
559 calories burned in that 40 minutes, okay? I don't know how re realistic this watch is, but it's probably somewhere in that neighborhood. Could be more, could be less. Feels like more though, okay? Because I know I worked really hard. Now let's get down, zoom up position, push it out. I'm gross, sweating, things are flying out of me. All right? That's because I worked hard. Gonna need a mop on this floor when I'm done for sure. Keep those palms on the ground if you can. Come up, stretch out that lower back and those hamstrings. Now when you come up, I want you, I want you to try to keep your hips pointed back, glutes back so you really feel the stretch. Don't come forward. That's gonna negate the stretch to put your hips in a dangerous position, okay? So keep them back. If you have to go to your fingertips, that's fine, better. All right? Let's do some lunges side to side. Here we go. Side. Use the hand for support when you come down. That's it. Just like that. Stretching out everything we just used. Nice, quick, dynamic cool down here. All right, if you feel like you need more stretching when we're done, by all means, go ahead and do so. All right. Go back into that upward dog. The way we started here. Get in the cobra position and twist it side to side. Get that core nice and loose. All right, that's it. That's the end of our official time, but we'll give it a few more seconds here to really cool down. Back in the downward dog. Get that lower back and those lats stretched out. We went after all that today as well. No real lat isolation moves, but those swings and presses, they're engaging everything in the upper body. They're going after it. All right. You don't have to sit there and do a back day or a chest day necessarily, although those things don't hurt. Right back to the middle again. But you want to mix it up. You want to keep it fresh, you know? You'll see that in rhythm too. Every week is different, you know? We don't do the same thing two weeks in a row ever. All right? Lots of different ways to work out. Lots of different ways to get good results. You know, switch up your pro programming, and that's how you're going to see it. You know, you do the same thing over and over and over again. You're going to stop working after a while. That's why in Riptism, like I said, we have three different programs you can use those things go from one to the next and next you got about half a year's worth of programming before you got to go to the next thing you know you can restart again and by the time you finish riptism one two and then riptism raw and you go back to riptism one again it's going to feel like a whole new workout that you've never done before everything's different on there so check it out and again subscribe if you feel like you need more of a cool down like i said go ahead and do so it's important to get that cool down but our 45 minutes are done so i hope those of you who requested the longer workouts are happy all right, again, in the comment section, anything you want to see, let me know. But until then, check out ripdism.com, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks again.